felt like a really lonely process. Poo on my hand. Very spooky in here. May or may not find bodies in here. I wrote my car off. This is the gaming room! Remember when there was a time where everyone thought that was a fake gamer, but if I was murdered? Help me! Hi, mates. Because <laughs> life is a little bit sweeter with sweetener. I'm moving from this humble abode next week to my own, my own 50s house that I brought. But I have a song that is stuck in my head and I kind of want to sing it to you. With a long and shiny blade, it was I who effed the dragon, eff a lising, eff a loo. And if you try to eff me, then I will eff you too. The song has been in my head all day, so I thought I'd perform it. Okay, to the game and boudoir, we go. Today is going to be a compilation of yesterday and today. It is now today and the other the next part is is yesterday <laughs> roo, roo. may as well join in you know if you can't beat them then join them okay i've got some packing to do before we go and visit the old 50s house that i have bought and reflected on some very deep feelings we have some packing to do also i've got myself a new shiny tool cool that helps you um work out the wires in the wall so you can put your own shelves up i got quite a look at this color it's quite gorgeous if you ask me. I don't want to have to pay people to do things that I can possibly do myself. I have put the battery in the wrong way, so fantastic. <laughs> One of my dogs turned into a sausage. Glizzy dog. Glizzy dog. Glizzy dog. Glizzy dog. My Pokemon cards. I love looking through these. Portable Xbox. I actually did a TikTok about that and an Instagram reel, so check that out. Gun, damn it! Portal. Hi. I did a little bit of packing. Thank you so much for keeping me company. I hope that this intro sufficed because the next part is gonna bring you on what happened yesterday where I was just doing a lot of reflecting, being emotional and showing you my 50s humble abode that I got very cheap. I like my coffee black just like my metal. I don't drink coffee, this is tea. Anyway, cheers, see you at the end of the video. Promise I'm not flashing. Got my hiking boots on and I want to show you a bit of nature, I guess. But the main thing, reason that I'm here is because I have brought a house. I have brought a 50s house. It's really old. It's a doer upper. And honestly, it's only just feeling nice now, I guess. It's only just feeling like I've accomplished something. And I feel like that's a really negative way to think but because I have bought the house by myself on my own it's felt like a really lonely process because I was reading a book and it was sort of educating me on my feelings and accomplishments and even when you accomplish something massive it's kind of normal to feel like you've not accomplished anything if you're in it alone kind of thing and I know buying a house by myself is such a huge accomplishment even if it's an old starter house even if it's a doer upper it's still huge and I'm super super grateful but I feel like doing it alone kind of took away and I felt sort of I guess I don't know just not as happy as I should have been but now it's all coming together and I've got support in doing the house up it feels more like I don't know coming together and I'm ready to show share with you the house <laughs> so I'm gonna show you I guess the empty house tour but first let's have a look around nature I guess also I wrote my car off and I'm gonna pick up my new one today I wrote my car off it's not hee hee but I am a girl that will run over a whole house and then be like whoops <laughs> and that's a problem so I wrote my car off by mistake uh, my insurance paid out so I'm gonna pick up my new car today and then we're gonna head to my 50s house. I wanted it old and crusty and dusty so there's ghosts and ghouls in there and possibly lots of spiders. I need to get used to spiders and make, make friends with them. Food. The car is ready. 
so okay got my car i won't write this one off again story time about that is i literally only curbed it and the damage was so good that they had to write off i didn't do anything crazy anyway stopping back at the old house because i just kind of want to change my clothes and then finally you'll get a sneak peek of my empty 50s house tour i hope you're excited because it slowly feels like things are coming together and i can slowly feel very excited about this i just can't wait until there's carpets and paint and just everything is spliced together my gaming room's done i'm excited Hello. <laughs> okay, I've changed. I feel like I can do more things around the house in this. Mean. Ow. Think I'm having a bit of an insecure day. Change my outfit again. Now we go. Hello. Welcome to my humble abode. <laughs> I guess I'm just gonna get into the business and show you around my decrepit old wonderful house. You are now currently residing in the boudoir. As I said before, it's, it's apparently where the Wungardium Leviosa happens. And because the house is old, it came with cute hats that are meant to sit on top of the lights. And I love them, so I'm keeping most of them. How perfect is this? Also, also ripped up the carpet to find that all the floors are wooden. Somebody covered these beautiful floors with carpet. Crazy. Now in here is where I'm going to keep most of you guys. Continue to be cheeky. Very spooky in here. I like. May or may not find bodies in here. But this room needs some work. It needs to actually be turned into a room. Possible dressing room, I think. <laughs> but yes, you can't get rid of this because I want to keep a chimney. And then it goes all the way around. <laughs> Jump scare. I have quite an old boiler, so I've got this massive tub, this huge tub, water in there. So I need a new boiler, yay. The stairs, what are you doing? I know you won't believe it because it goes against the wor wor word, word of science, but this is actually a bungalow, yeah. I live in a bungalow. But some criminal came in and added a staircase and made things a lot more better for me. And now it's a bungalow with a, with a rooms upstairs speaking about criminals this is why i keep them so anyone that messes about will be put in here i really actually don't know what to do with this room i'm thinking of using it for storage or something like that oh, i was thinking just like an underground harry potter cupboard i have a hallway here is where the real magic happens this is the gaming room the office where i get spotlights yay to the electrician so much room for activities i don't know why it wasn't slow though this is my spare room and this is my bathroom but it has no bath the living room the room where we live the electrician did that too win 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 and then we have the hobby room the hobby room the dining room the whatever room we have the dismantled kitchen. Yes, this is crazy. Looks kind of cool though. Hi, welcome back. Thank you for hanging out with me and looking at my new house and stuff. My dogs just don't know when to quit. Hi. I don't know, I got a lot going on right now. Like, uh, I mean, and I mean a lot, but I'm gonna take some time out now to relax and play some Call of Duty. The beta is out today and I've been getting good at card um i had an issue getting the code on my playstation 5 even though i had the beta code but then last night i had to download it on my xbox games pass because you can get it for free not an ad not as fun i'm just talking about it you know so i'm gonna grind some cod for a little bit i have no clothes and underclothes so i'm basically cozy right now the new season of genshin impact is also out so i'm just doing my daily check-ins before i play I swear gaming off stream is real escapism. Without games, I feel like I'd be a dribbly mess. Just, I don't even think I would exist without games, to be fair. It's sad and it's true that games sell, but I like it. I like it a lot. For some reason, it's un uninstalled multiplayer. Now it's gonna take me seven hours to jump on the game. Elden Ring it is then. 
Okay, I got to play for 15 minutes, half an hour. I swear my idea of cozy gaming consists of Elden Ring. Wild, I know. Anyway, let's go explore. I begged Insert Coin to send me some clothes as well. So uh, I'm gonna wear my Doki Doki hoodie. They sent me a Doki Doki hoodie. I'm in love with the Doki Doki girls. Blessed me with a new top. They do gaming merch and stuff. And the quality actually is insane. I'm not just saying this, I, I wouldn't promote it if I thought it was trash. Doki Doki top. I just love my crazy girls. What can I say? It is raining, so we are gonna go with this. <laughs> Cute, right? Cute. Thank you, insert. You can continue to insert yourself in my life if you want. I don't mind. Anyway, adventure time. Look at this house, it's so cute. I'm, ex I'm, expl I'm exploring the area that I now live in basically. So I found a country walk, let's go. But also I'm used to being the only brown girl in the village but the stairs are very, very annoying still and I will never get used to them. I always feel like an alien when I go out the house. It's very pretty, the weather. And nobody is here. I remember when there was a time where everyone thought that was a fake gamer, but it was literally because I couldn't afford a gaming PC and all the capture content to capture my content. I feel like for the first two years of, of making YouTube and making content, everyone thought that I was a fake gamer girl. <laughs> I actually got a comment the other day that was saying, oh, because someone commented that I was a fake gamer again um, when I literally stream on Twitch. People are so weird. What is a fake gamer anyway? I feel like I'm more of a gamer than ever, I guess, because it's my job now. <laughs> Which, by the way, I'm entirely grateful for. I actually still get shocked that anyone would want to watch me. Yeah, no one's here, so if I was murdered, at least I was murdered happy. Or semi-happy. <laughs> here. I picked you a flower. Take it. No? You want me to have it? Okay, fine. i put it in my hair then. I've got poo on my hand. Look. Don't, don't lick it, you freak. Gosh. Can you hear that? I think I've pretty much decided that I really like walking without headphones on because you are at one with your thoughts and I feel like we never get to disconnect. But it's also important that you connect and watch my videos, so thank you. Okay, I'm going now, everyone. I want to say that this vlog was all over the place, but I really appreciate you watching and I appreciate you being here and I appreciate you being alive and getting through anything that happens, such as your game not downloading because... <laughs> I hate you. <laughs> anyway, thanks for watching, and we can't leave without the da 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 cyber hugs. Mmm, lovely.